In the meantime, I'll put up two onions caramelized on the fly because this recipe is so quick that I make the recipe sooner than the onions, caramelized onions to put on top. Extra virgin oil, two turns and mix often. Gabriele. What are you making? I'm making potato rosti, but then afterwards we make a sandwich. In short, all of a spectacular. Calculate a medium potato for each person. Grate the potatoes with large holes. If you don't have a grater with big holes, you do it with a mandolin and then cut it fine with a knife. A little salt, quite a lot of salt too. It comes with water afterwards anyway, and mix well. Leave them alone here for two or three minutes so that the salt will, will make them kick out all the excess water to the potatoes. Squeeze the potatoes after two minutes in the sink. Use your hands and squeeze. Strong, strong. Gabriele, that's not the sink. I'm out of sinks. I'll put them back in. A sprig of rosemary, you flake it and it has to be chopped. An egg. A little pepper to taste. Gabriele, but I don't want to use egg. Tell me how can I do that? You put in flour, just very normal flour, whatever you like. The only thing, remember afterwards to cook them slower than what I will do. Simply mix them. You don't need to mix anything. You don't have to do strange things. Just mix well. The egg and potato well. At first the consistency will be this. Be sure to mix well. Since the potato is a stuff that is always a little wet anyway, after a while it will maybe make a little bit of water under here. Just barely. You leave it there, don't worry. The caramelized onion needs to cook a little more than that. I'm already starting to add a little sugar though, because the onion is already sweet, just a little. And two tablespoons of vinegar, white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, black vinegar, whatever you want, rice vinegar, and let it cook for 10 more minutes. It has to get wilted and darker than that. Today we are outdoors, so I'm going to use a griddle. This one is lava stone. Cast iron is fine too. However, you can use very well, even quietly, an ordinary iron pan or non-stick pan to make a potato rosti. With a spoon, make the rosti. Do not exaggerate. Make the spoonfuls. In short, filled but not exaggerated. Um, make little piles. Moderate heat. They have to cook quite slowly because you have to give the potatoes time to cook because they are raw. After you make the piles, mash them a little so they flatten out. Maximum height, almost an inch. Three potatoes, six rusty came out. Swiss precision. What a beauty. The onions are amazingly ready and smell crazy. If you make them in a pan, put a drop of oil underneath. That will become more colorful. If you don't want to make them either on the griddle or in the pan, you can make them in the oven. Turn on the grill. Lay them out as I did, cold, on baking paper and put them in. The baking paper will get maybe a little yellow around, but don't worry. Or even in the air fryer, six minutes at 200 degrees. Flip them and let them do another six, seven minutes. If you want, you can finish it like this. You put the rosti, put them in the middle of the table. If you want to make a sauce, you make it and it ends like that. But I'm going to complicate my life today, so we're going to use onions and we're also going to do something else. I'm going to use this wonderful stone griddle. However, if you want to use the frying pan, that's fine. You remove the pancakes and still use the pan. A drop of oil, a little, not a lot, and two nice slices of bread. Loaf bread, ciabatta bread, whatever bread you want. Bread. The roasty, meanwhile, are cooked. They took about 12, 13 minutes. I keep them here on the side because it's less hot here than here. The bread, when it's browned under slightly, but even more than that, according to your taste, I pull it aside, put it here, I put the onions back nearby for a moment so I'm comfortable. A little oil on the griddle or pan. Three slices of cheese, scamorza or mozzarella, the one harder than the pizza, provolone, whatever you like. Turn it over after 30 seconds. Or if you want it more browned, leave it on longer. This is a griddle that hasn't even reached 200 degrees, so this junk. If you want, you can do it, otherwise use raw oil. I clean the griddle a little bit with oil, onion, like nothing else in the world. It's melted off. Off again. And on top we put two, three, four, five rosti. I make three. A little mustard or other things, even mayonnaise is good, but you know, mustard with onion, it's amazing. 
Do you see the cheese fugitive frying? So it has to be on the other bread and mash. Pull up and place on a plate. Also take the rosti and run away before they are stolen from you. Guys, I'm really sorry, but I have to cut it in half. Guys, it's like playing the violin with your nose. The smell of mustard, of onion, of vinegar, of browning, of bread, it's something crazy. By the way, it is also starting to rain. I struggled against the elements today to snack. Gabriele, the potatoes with the bread. Are you crazy? But guys, come on. But this is all bullshit. What do you want me to do to you? Have you ever heard anyone, did he die poor because he ate bread and potatoes? No, the important thing is not to abuse. Everything is here. There is egg, protein, the cheese, the starches. Yes, there is some carbohydrates, some extra oil. But it's not like you can die healthy. Go ahead and take a bite. Ah. And by the way, the cholesterol, friends, there's already the hot griddle on. Don't you want to put them on two slices of bacon and then throw them in, nice and browned? You do very well, do as you wish. A dear greeting to everyone. Subscribe to the channel, leave like, all that stuff. Bye, everyone. Ah.